celebrities. We see them on the television at home, or we see them on the big screen. Al Pacino on Dog Day Afternoon. They're only people just like us. So what makes them so special? Maximilian Shell and the man of the glass boot. What makes them seem so superior to us? James Whitmore and Gibbon Hal Harris. In this documentary, we want to get a hold of one of these people and see what it really takes. And the winner is... of the theory of six degrees of separation? Well, according to this theory, every person on Earth can be linked through personal interaction within six degrees or fewer. More specifically to this film, when dealing with Hollywood stars, there are even fewer connections within the web of actors, directors, and so on. In fact, more celebrities are connected within two or three degrees of each other than in four, five, or six. So that means that if my group and I were to film ourselves interviewing as many people as possible in the hopes of actually finding a celebrity, we could, in theory, actually succeed? Well, the team and I came to a mutual decision on who would be the right man for the job. The toughest man to find in our minds. <laughs> Morgan Freeman, a man with a very authentic voice, and winner of five Academy Awards, a Golden Globe Award, a Film Actors Guild Award, and a Lifetime Achievement Award from the American Film Institute. He is also 75 years old and resides in Charleston, Mississippi when he's not traveling around America for acting jobs. So, all these accolades aside, is it fair to say that he's just another human being like us? No, Bruce. He's more than that. Bruce, I'm God. So how on earth could we, six 17-year-old students, ever find God himself? So a better question would be, where is he? Do you know anyone with possible connections to Morgan Freeman? Do you know anyone who could get us closer to Morgan Freeman or anyone in the industry? Um, is there any way you could help us get closer with Morgan Freeman or someone else in the industry? Do you know anyone who could get us closer to finding Morgan Freeman? Is there any way you can help us get closer to Morgan Freeman? Wait, no, no. Better question. Do you know Morgan Freeman? I do know Morgan Freeman. Wait, really? Whoa, rewind. Who is this lovely lady? No, we don't have to act it out. Just ask. Okay. Just say I have... Clint Eastwood's daughter as a contact, so we could use her to get through to Morgan Freeman. I mean, like you said, I'm happy to pass on an email to Tracy Mercer, is her name, at Revelation uh, Productions, but, um, you know, can't guarantee anything. Um, but I'm sure, you know, you guys are doing a high school project, and that may be something that they would be willing to be helpful on, I have no idea. This is the email we're sending to Tracy, the connection of Allison Eastwood, who may get us closer to Morgan Freeman. Hi Tracy, our names are Sean Stevenson and Ben Ball, and we are young filmmakers at Rosedale Heights School of the Arts in Toronto, Ontario, Canada, and we are making a film about the theory of six degrees of separation. All we are asking is for you to get back to us and to pass this email on to someone who could get us closer to Mr. Freeman. You are the fourth degree of the six, we are almost there, so anything you can do to help us 
would be very much appreciated. Thank you very much. We look forward to hearing back from you soon. Sincerely, the team of Finding Freeman. Things looked good for us. But as always, our God had different plans in mind. A symbol. The burning bush. What happened? Okay, so what's going on now? Uh, okay, Walk so to a house. Tracy isn't comfortable with passing on the email to Morgan Freeman because he gets them all the time. Yeah, which shouldn't be surprising to us, but it is a little bit. After our dead end, with time running out, the team gathered for a final conference to clear up some questions and for one final attempt. So this is us. These are my connections, Anne and Paul Fenn. They're the second degrees. They gave us contacts who were going to be our third degree to Morgan Freeman, but we got nowhere with that. Chelsea and Corey, they got us to Dwayne Hill, best known for his role as Coach Carr in Mean Girls. He said he'd talk to his agent, he's been busy. So that scratched off, that would have been our fourth degree. Richard, didn't hear from him, nothing. Allison Eastwood, however, Clint Eastwood's daughter, knew Morgan by one degree, she knew him personally. We were now two degrees away from Morgan Freeman, God. So this is where we thought we were going. However, of course, for whatever reasons it may be, she wanted to bring us to somebody named Tracy. I think it would take a lot of time to get the professional buildup we needed, especially at our age since we're 17 years old. Why can't we just give him a call and have a chat? What's seven, stopping seven, us? Six, seven, five, three, eight, seven, seven. Okay, ready? Mm -hmm. Yo, he's in the subway. <laughs> yeah. He's in the subway. Yeah. <laughs> it says temporarily. In the end, we discovered that maybe this wasn't all just about finding Morgan Freeman, but more a comment on the amazing social network hidden among the people in our communities around us and the seemingly vast societies that cover the globe. We found that it was more impressive to say that you were six or seven social degrees away from a celebrity or any other person on earth than it was to say that you were two or three. Maybe that means that what we showed you in this film wasn't very impressive at all. Maybe that means that you could do this too. So in the end, what we will leave you with is this. Next time you're walking downtown at rush hour, look around at the hundreds of people in your view and think, they are all much closer to you than you may ever have thought possible. There used to be a gray and tower alone on the sea. You became the light on the dark side of me. Love remains a drug less high and not the pill. But did you know that when it snows, my eyes become large and the light that you shine can't be seen?